Good day, mates, from Victoria Square. And this was the uh, talk about first impressions. This is the first impression that I've gotten of Adelaide. And it couldn't be a nicer first impression. Look at this. Think road safety. So they've got the uh, they've got the tour going on here, and they've got this this inflatable here for the tour. And I am on my way to the to the market. I'm going to the Adelaide market and bring you along. But uh, I couldn't resist sharing this with you. Look at this kangaroo right there up on the uh, up on the up on the bike. Now he's not wearing his helmet unlike the other unlike the other riders so the kangaroo is not necessarily uh thinking safety but that's all right i'm uh i just came into adelaide i've i haven't even been in this city now for for even uh oh goodness for 10 minutes and i got off at the i got off at the tram as i saw that the the market and if i'm not mistaken chinatown it's just right over right over here so I'm gonna do a little walk and talk and bring you along to the through the market and in doing so I may actually share some of uh, may even share some of Chinatown with you we will uh, we will see as the saying goes and I will give you a nice uh, nice view this city here is supposed to be more sprawled out than say uh, Brizzy which is rather it's a beautiful city Brisbane but it is very congested a lot of a lot of traffic a lot of a lot of high-rise buildings and uh, this one here is not as bad and as I look just right over here off in the distance you probably can't see it but there's Tom's Mo Tom's Hotel right there so that might be a nice place for me to that might be a nice place for me to stay next week but right now i need to find my way over to the uh if i'm able to i need to find my way over to the the market and right there i see the the entrance it says the central market arcade so we'll see if we can't uh find our way find our way over there i'm looking across the across the traffic hopefully i don't get in trouble but here we go, folks. Look at this. Central Market Arcade. And I'm assuming that this is the, the Central Market. At least I certainly, uh, certainly hope so. So here we go. Look at that. Central Market Arcade. It's a beautiful morning today. It really is a pretty pretty morning so we will uh we will see i think the i think the market's up here or this could just be a maybe this is a shopping center i'm not quite sure but no i think that the i think the market is going to be right down here as a matter of fact i'm pretty certain markets are always a good place to do a walk and talk you never know what you're going to see you never know who you're going to meet and i'm sure that today probably won't be much of an exception and i think you can hope that this is the uh, this is the market if not i will probably feel a little little the fool Certainly is a marketplace. We're just looking for all of the looking for all of the stalls and what have you heard. You have a lady coming with some some flowers. So I would imagine that maybe just up ahead I will hit the market. Here you could get yourself some Cambodian street food. Which might not be a bad idea for some lunch. So here we go, folks. I think I found it. Look at this. Yeah, I found it. Here is your, here is your market. At least so I, so I hope. 
You got the Central Market, Central Market flowers here. A beautiful collection of flowers. It's going for 22, 22 Australian dollars. Right here. Here you have the Angelakis Brothers Ocean Catch. Come and get yourself some seafood. It's been a while since I've been to a market similar to this. I've done a video for the trying to decide which way to walk. I did a video for the uh, Cleveland market in Ohio. Sausages there. Wonderful. Boy, if I had a nickel for all the times I went to the to the market with my mom and, and dad growing up in Ohio. Look at these sweets here. Saffron, white palm, cranberry, and pistachio. Boy, that looks good, doesn't it? Look at this, pomegranate and pistachio, $50 per kilo. Wow. Yeah. Look at some of this stuff. This is Mediterranean. Probably Kangaroo Island. Oh, what a nice place. What a wonderful place this is. More meat. I know where I, know where I would be shopping if I were here. Uh, I know where I would be shopping if I were here living in living in that way. We have a place here called The Grind. Oh, fantastic. And no shortage of... No shortage of produce. it will be practical to share all of the market with you. I will try to share a good portion of it. And this is something that used to always make me make me curious when I was a little kid seeing the the pig's head for sale. I don't know if you can actually see that or not with the glare from the glass. Let's see. But uh, when I was a little kid. I was fascinated to go to the market with mom and dad and I'd always sneak out around back and see the chickens in the see the chickens in the cages and the and the and the pigs stacked up you know, ready to be ready to be cut up and put in the in the display case. For those that are thinking of visiting Adelaide, you know, I can't, I, I've said it numerous times, but videos like this go such a long way in, uh, go such a long way in helping people anticipate or, or see what, uh, what's in store for them. And I've got some Tasmanian cherries, 19.99 a kilogram. Boy, those look good. Over here you've got your, uh, your seeds. Look at, down here they call these crayfish, whereas we might call those lobsters. So that's, uh, you got crayfish there, and here you have some raw blue swimmer, swimmer crabs, all ready for sale. Wow. And down here you have, what else do you have down here? Barramundi wings, right there, whatever, whatever that is, Barramundi wings. 
organic salmon heads. Fantastic. Very nice. So I'm walking along. I'm trying to be conscientious of the music that they're playing. Now, I'm not sure what this is. Just look at this. This is duck mushroom parfait. Look at that. Oh, it looks pretty good. Duck mushroom parfait. Wonderful. Asian Latin American. Oh. Empanadas. Look at that. You can get a pork belly bomb. Oh, that looks good. Look at this. Paella for $15. Oh, that looks good. Hey, mate. Look at that. That looks very, very good. We have a chicken cherry joe. That looks very good. Did you make that? Yeah. You did, huh? Yeah. All right. Do you cook at home? No, nah, not, not, not so much. Not so much? Yeah. This was sell only. Sometimes. Right. I'll be back. Yeah. You're ready in just 10 minutes. 10 minutes. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Oh, boy. 10 minutes. That looks good. And speaking of looking good, look at this. These are churro from uh, Colombia. Oh, here's some empanada. It's called South American food. Yeah, it's called the empanada. Empanada is Venezuela, no? Uh, it's like South American, it's like Colombian. Ah, okay, Colombian. <laughs> wow. You know, when I'm doing these videos, you just know, you know, when you're, you just know when you're doing them, what's going to be a, what's going to be a good video or not. And uh, this here is going to be a uh, this is going to be a good one. I can just I can just tell. I think what I'll do is I'll take a take a left here on to Fourth uh, Avenue, go up. I wonder if they've got Uber around here. You know, maybe they've got little uh, little like uh, I was going to say little people. But uh, little little carts or something, you know, you can get on your Uber app and say, pick me up on the corner of, uh, you know, 4th uh, and whatever, whatever it is. Oh, here's the, here's the baker. Look at this. Wow, chocolate brownie. Oh, that looks good. That looks really, really good. I bet this lady that's standing right here next to me, she's probably ordered a couple of those, haven't you? Yeah, huh? About Have you ordered? Or four. You've ordered They're three. They're all mine. Hands what? off. They're all mine. They're all yours. Hands off. <laughs> Look at you, huh? Yeah. All right. Hey, can I get that sour cream? All right. Yeah. Wonderful. Oh, that's good. Have a nice day. All right. You know, the Australians really are, uh, for the most part, the overwhelming majority of Australians are just really easygoing, laid-back, fun-natured, fun-natured people. What happened to Carlo Panettetti in Melbourne? I don't know. You know, maybe there was something, something in his childhood that, uh, <laughs> I'm just teasing. I know Carlo likes stuff. I really like to watch my videos. Well, there's a, actually a way that you can go upstairs, and I don't know what, I don't know what would be upstairs. I'm, I'm rather tempted to find my way up here. Look at all of these, these nuts that you can get. Hello. Uh, a lot of nuts. Fantastic. Anyway. Good day, mate. Hello, how are you? I'm good. What's upstairs? What's upstairs? The car park. What? The car park. The car park. So that wouldn't be an interesting on YouTube. 
Now, crazy things don't happen in car parks here in Australia, like in America, right? No, I don't If we know. were in America, I might find some interesting stuff going on in the car park, I mean, right? You want to go check, you never know. I'm no, right no, 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 not here in Australia. Nothing happens interesting in car parks in Australia. Only in, uh, <laughs> only in, uh, only in America, as the, uh, as the Aussies will say. And they also say, say cheese. Here you got the, the cheese stall. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. And here you got, well, this is bread. Stall number, uh, stall number 45. Look at these things. They do. They look almost as beautiful as you. Oh, yeah. Are you getting one? No, are you getting, getting a sweet? Yeah, I'm getting one of these. What are you getting? It's a, a macadamia almond tart. It is a five. Oh, I bet you get one of those every week, don't you? Not quite. <laughs> the ones for my neighbor. The big ones for my neighbor who's been doing. The big ones for the neighbor. The ones for me. All right. Have a wonderful day. I'm sure it's going to be just as sweet as you are. <laughs> You see, us Americans, we're so good at flattery, right? <laughs> we're so good at flattery. <laughs> Have a nice day. All right. You see how easy it is to make people laugh? You know, you can go through the world, you wake up each day, and you can make a conscious choice. Am I going to go out in the world today and make people laugh and bring a smile to their face? Or am I going to go out and share, you know, doom and gloom and all of that. Hello. Oh, good stuff. All right, folks. I think that's, uh, I think that's almost the, the tour down here. We have Marino's Porchetta and Canale Bar. Oh, wow. Look at this. Hello. Look at that. I don't know what that is on that. We got something going on that thing there. Like a fork or, or something. What is that? Wow. And this woman's cutting it. What are you doing there? I'm just breaking out the crackle from the pork. From the pork. Is that what's on is that's what's in the fire bath there? Yes. Okay, wow. Done. And what are you going to do with that stuff? You sell it or? Yeah, we put them in the paninis or we add them in the, in the plates. Now this is going to be a tough choice between getting the paella down at the other end. Yep. They got a special on the paella, $15 and I get a soda and something oh, like that. What's your special? Good. So with our special, we do we can do a, um, a panini with uh, a canola for... Uh, wow. So the, Different types of paninis, different pricing. So the Filomena, which has got the provolone cheese and the uh -huh. wild broccolini with pork and crackle. Uh -huh. um, that is. This is crackle here? That's crackle. That's the crackle, the skin? Yes, that's all crackle. It's all all right. Yeah. Fantastic. Is this your stall? No, so this is uh, Marino's. It's all uh -huh. connected. It's all Fantastic. Well, good good on you. Is that what I say? Good on you? Good on you. Yeah. Good on you. All right. <laughs> Have a nice day, all right? You too. See Take you. good care. All right. See what I was telling you? How friendly the uh, how friendly the folk are here. And I, if I wanted to, I could just set up my shop right here. I could sit down with my with my laptop and just uh, sit down with my laptop and just set up set up shop, so to speak. So I'm gonna find my way. I don't know if there's much else to share with you. There's a nice eating area. You see us pizza and spaghetti bar. Oh boy, this stuff all looks good. It all looks really good. And you see, just as one would expect, it's the same all around the world. You'll find old men sitting and talking and having their coffee and uh, solving the solving the world's problems. Wonderful. All right, folks. I hope you all. Hope you all have a great, uh, have a great day. This really is a nice, wonderful place. Take, uh, take good care.